Hello, everybody, and welcome back once more to Stray Gods. I am the Outback Al. I'm Yen and Young. I'm Chibi Noob. I'm Jiren Cosplay. And I'm Cozy. And it's been a... How long has it been? We've been kind of playing a couple other games that we've been trying to finish and do some stuff with, but it's good that we came back to this because we're in Act 2, right? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Calliope dead? Yeah, Calliope very dead. Oh, that was... Like that was immediate. a while ago. Oh wait, were you here when we first played this? Nope. Oh, oh okay. This will be a whole new thing for you. Yeah, it's been a while. Gone through a lot. I mean, not really. I'm the one who recommended the game. Okay. Oh right, we had. We're starting day two, and we have three options of who to talk to. Or do we journal? I don't know what journal do. Oh, journal is a, a thing of things. Okay, we got Freddy. Calliope, very dead, and we're getting blamed for it. Hermes, told us about it. Aphrodite, don't know much about her yet. Apollo, real bummer. Athena, probably in charge of the whole orchestrating the entire affair. Persephone, mean but might be into us now. Pan, we're definitely into him. Mm. And Eros, uh... I didn't get a good read. I don't know. But who do we want to talk to first? I should talk to Apollo or go see what Pan wants. Could you just go check out Pan? Yeah. It's always a fun time. A lot of different controls for moving around here. Whoop, oh, here we go. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What? <laughs> what is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. <sighs> this building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Oh, well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? So we just watched Percy Jackson. Mm. Is that vibe you're getting? Ooh, what should we ask? You asked me to come. Is Olympus hidden? How many idols are there? No stay silent option. What are we most interested in finding out? I mean, these are the question routes, so we could probably like do a couple more. Yeah, let's How find out about the idols. How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know, 20? 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all, given time. Wondering, yeah, Idols we might as well go with here? this idol route because we I mean, don't really Calliope know much about it yet. Obviously, true. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. Am I going to have to give him my apartment? <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. Hmm. That's fine. I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here? Or. Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen, such as my glorious horns. That is like Percy Jackson. It's the and mist the or whatever it is. Those it's the mist? See it. Yeah. Okay. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. I'm used to uh, it's not anywhere as grand as Dimension the old 20 country, with the Umbral it, Arcana, it so... It serves its purpose. This isn't grand. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> you asked me to meet you here? 
I did. As I recall, you owe me a favor. A favor that I now wish to collect, if you'd be so kind. So we just jump into it when we run out of things to talk about. I was expecting this. I'm not breaking rules for you. I guess we were expecting it, but are we willing to break rules? Yes. You want to break some rules? I want to break rules, rules for him. Depends what rules we're talking about. Oh, yes, I mean... rules are made to be broken. Also, I'm, who made the rules? We're Why on... Why did they get to make them? We're on, like, death row. What, who cares what yeah, happens, I guess. Cares about the oh, rules. sure. I'm totally in a position to help others right now. Lay it on me. Here's the thing. A friend okay, has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. Okay. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? So, more hot people we can hang out with. Yes, I'll consider good. it. What is a reliquary? What kind of favor? Would Hecate really help me? All good questions. What, what is, is a reliquary? reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> Not those That's relics. That's a relic. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, maybe. Is that the house on the rock? We store them in a faraway so? place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? No, unsavory some guy named like Wednesday. Most. Mm -hmm. Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. Is the reliquary dangerous? If these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? So, yeah. Probably. But I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. Cool. But would this she help Hecate, us? Do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not she's of a mind? Hot. Then well, she don't won't help do spoilers, you. but that's Grace, incentive that enough to go see her. I can yes. be to do everything, can I? I did like her design in Star Versus. What kind of favor is this? This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending is you to someone Is Eros not good up? for that? Set something aflame, don't be upset. Aphrodite, maybe? The man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. Yeah, you'd think Aphrodite. Yeah. So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? How's our own love life? Are we talk, Grace. one to talk? It makes me blush. <laughs> well, it's just that... I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly and with open arms. That's not very encouraging. You have a very sly tongue. That's got a heart next to it. Ooh. Are we still flirting with just about everybody? Yeah. <laughs> You're saying you can talk me into anything? Anything you would enter into willingly and with eyes wide open, which covers... A great deal. Yes. That's okay, so we're easy. ethical of you, Pam. I find consent wildly attractive, Grace. I'll consider you. I mean, it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. But no promises. Marvelous. 
Are the gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. I'm normally against it, but this I'll is human enough for me to... to yeah, I'm okay with that. Directions ...and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. He's pretty hot. I mean, honestly, I no we played how many well, Monster Prom games? Well, if you to go, Grace, yeah. so, we still need all those things. So, if Say we're going to see Asterian, we're behalf, gonna go see the you? Minotaur. Oh, fun! Now, I remember him from Hades, so... From Percy Jackson? Oh. <laughs> well, there too, but still. <laughs> I can head to the reliquary or go talk to Apollo. All right, we're going to go see Minotaur or Sad Boy. Now, this seems like an actual plot thread. Where is... There it is. And this one, we kind of... I don't know. Do we leave off in a good place with him? Yes. Have you guys met the Oracle yet? Yes. Uh, yeah, you said yes, so I'm going to assume. That was the little kid on the computer? Yeah. Right. And I was like, that's Barbara Gordon. Because she literally is Barbara Gordon from the mm. Arkham series. Okay, she's the only important thing you need to do with Apollo, unless you want to hit it. I mean, we want to hit everything, I think. But... Are we allowed to hit everyone? It's, no. They're, ah, oh, they're like Greek. I thought like, they were all polyamorous. Or is that Romans? I'm thinking of. There is going to come a point where they force you to choose. You can flirt with everyone uh, for now, though. I do like the idea of flirting with virtually everybody. Okay. So, go well, for the flirt. you guys know who go, I choose. Go for the flirt or go for the plot. Um, flirting isn't hurting anyone right now. That's true. We're going to go see Apollo real quick, and then we'll go to the reliquary. Ah, oh, Grace, you're back. That's good. I was just about to call you. Uh, he means he wants me to call you, because Paul here still hasn't figured out how to use a phone. That... That's not true. I know how. I just don't like them. They're confusing. Anyhow, I've been contemplating our list of suspects, and... I think Pan is someone we need to consider. <laughs> you really don't like that you're flirting with him. I want to see Pan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought Why you discounted Pan? him. I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. Persephone did. But I've had time to think it over. Pan is a schemer. A traitor in favors. He always has been. His sudden appearance in all this cannot be coincidental. You think is he anything a coincidence? Calliope after all? Perhaps. Don't you guys believe in the or face? he knows who did and is trying to turn it to his benefit. He always knows more than he pretends. So what's this about phones? Wait, wait, wait. You don't like phones? I, uh, I just don't like talking to people I can't see. No, it's the ringtones. They scare the crap out of him. I kid you not. I'm not frightened. Only a child would be frightened. They're just... Very loud. <laughs> Drop the volume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we return to the subject of Pan, please? I actually went to see Pan at Olympus. I guess that wasn't such a great idea. Spoke to him again. Already. Have you For seen the third him? Time. He was at the Underworld, too. He wants me to repay a favor by helping someone at a place called the Reliquary. <laughs> the Reliquary? Why would Pan send you there, of all places? I don't like the sound of that. See, now I'm wondering what would happen if we talked to him first and then gone to see Pan. Should I not go? Me neither. Pan seems harmless. Definitely not Pan seems harmless. He got something up his sleeve, but it might be something we want. I don't know. Any thoughts? Chaos rules? What do we want to do? Uh, that one. Should I yeah. not go? Uh -oh. his opinion. Is it dangerous? Should I not go? No. I think we duplicated Perhaps for a second. it's best that you do, even if it's just to find out what he wants and why. Okay. Aphrodite is holding a party of sorts, one you should attend. She is closest to Pan. Indeed, she knows almost all the idols. If anyone is up to something, she's bound to know. You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? Good question. 
Well, talking to Aphrodite isn't something anyone does with much success these days. One does not simply talk well, to Aphrodite. Case, what makes you think I'll get anywhere? There's a standing invitation for the muse to attend this party. Calliope never went, so Aphrodite will be thrilled to see you. Trust me. If I thought you couldn't get her to talk, I wouldn't suggest it. What do you mean by a party of sorts? I mean, I'm always down for a party, but... Um, it's more of a remembrance than a party, really. It's, it's a funeral, isn't it? Difficult yep. to describe. I was about to be like, eyes wide That's shut, but I'm like... Vague, Apollo. I feel like we're going into stereotypes at that yourself. point. It's nothing you can't handle. Okay, I'll go. Eventually. Perfect. I will see you there. I guess time isn't uh, a factor. Paul, you should see this. The names you wanted me to look up are getting weird results. I don't doubt it. I was hoping you could- Get over here! No worries, Paul. <laughs> I'll see you later. I want to know what's going on! And let's see. Do we want to go to the Reliquary or Aphrodite's party? Probably get another musical thing as soon as we get to Aphrodite's party. But then again, this is a new character, so they're probably going to sing too. So what musical number do we want to do? I'm just going to say, like, I like both stories, but I really like Astarians. Okay. Any other thoughts? He's a cutie. Or should I flip a coin? Not... I am always down for the sad vampire boy. Or... Well, not really that, but okay. Alright, that's two for the reliquary. That's a shipping container. I'm sorry, what? Why did we bring Freddy with us? I was expecting... I don't know. Moral support. Rats. Uh, yeah. Instead we have... Where the hell are we? Hell. It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? I thought you'd like it. This might not be safe. So I was told. I mean, we were told you might not be safe. I don't know whether you would like this or not. Thoughts? You better speak up quicker or I'm gonna just start uh, dropping chaos. random stuff. All right, bringing up, bringing up the chaos dice. This might Maybe not be I shouldn't safe. have brought you here. Pfft. I live for danger. This isn't D and D, Freddy. Well, Some but I'm using idols, dice. They mean business. Uh, do not start this in D and D. There is literally no better preparation for facing a world of gods and magic. Plus, my initiative is ace. Okay, she's best girl. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of. How much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? Hmm. Tell me about do you Hecate. Know about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really duck kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh. I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. Okay, that's good to know. Hey, you know what? You're amazing. I'm so amazing. glad I brought you, Freddy. I wouldn't know the first thing about any of this. Nah. Well, I hope it's actually helpful to tell you these things. Why wouldn't it be? Because well, it could all be wrong. I would have never pegged Apollo for a surfer dude with confidence issues. I'd peg yeah. Apollo. Yeah, mm -hmm. good point. <laughs> <laughs> The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? <laughs> That's the Minotaur's real name. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. <sighs> Pan did not mention that. Why am I not surprised? Is he this dangerous? Minotaur. You don't think he might be dangerous, do Could you? Could just be misunderstood. Well, traditionally, he eats people, but he was also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. He's in love with Theseus. Maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? <laughs> okay, I knew that sounded wrong. The moment Is that racist? I mean, maybe he just needs to eat them in a different way. <sighs> 
We should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. It's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. Or and concealing you from them. the monsters. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? Oh, blue. We've been going blue. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the reliquary is what I'm really interested in. Ooh, a plan C. Go on. There has to be some magical relic that could help me out. The trick will be finding it and getting my hands on it. Mm, that will be a trick. Yeah. I love your plans. Tricks are for hookers. I, I do illusions. It's giving super thirsty. Okay. I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary. Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I thought that would have been louder. I you into the dust from whence you came. Run, Freddy. Is it you I'm a mortal. Let me introduce myself. Back off, Freddy. Uh, do we want to say... Either uh, up or right. I don't. Don't feel safest. I know, but at the same time, I think we said we weren't gonna. We were I only mean, gonna blue. As much as I would love uh, to say, back off, lady. We did not go punk I rock was, route. Yeah, I forgot the color thing. We can do them, but I've been mostly saying I want to see an all blue thing, just going off of uh, street, street smarts smart. or whatever we were saying. I want to tell Freddy to run, but I'm also like, you might get laser beamed to death or something. I mean, we are technically not immortal anymore. Yeah, I'm going to go but with that. I'm not mortal. Wow, does that sound weird coming out of my mouth? You, perhaps, but the one with you? Mortals cannot learn of the knowledge kept here. Not ever. Freddy is special. Hey, street yeah. smarts. Street Freddy's smarts. not just any mortal. She's special! And she already knows about the idols! We have been revealed. We are undone! She's very dramatic. No, no, not undone. I swear, She's I can like go having if you want. She's like a breakdown over here. I'm not gonna tell a soul. It's enough that I even got to see this place. It is so amazing. It's like, like the Great Library of Alexandria, which, you know, was destroyed, and one of the greatest tragedies of human history. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, it's a nerd. I've created okay. this sanctuary at great cost. Knowledge is fragile and must be respected. Also, we have a D&D &D game on Fridays, if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over. Got it. Hecate, meet Freddy. I need your help. I mean, I would say, hey, I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm the new muse. Yeah. This is my could-be girlfriend. Um, What do you guys want to do? Let's start over. All right. Maybe we should start over. My name's Grace. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, you cannot be Grace. Uh, sure am. <laughs> then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. Oh boy, she gone full Oracle. You know what would happen? Yes, that's now. Nobody told you? You know what? It's all basically the same thing. I'm going to say chaos rules. And Chaos. that's... Yes, that's um, now. Yeah, that's now. Or very recently, anyway. I guess you don't get much news here in... wherever this is. It is between places. Crafted by my own hand from the ether. Here in the books are written all things. Past, present, and things that are yet to occur. Okay, Gladriel. Uh, yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident and... An accident? That's uh, not, what, not happened. what happened. Are you saying the books are wrong? Yes. You have a problem. Yes, I'm not the only one with a problem. You got issues. But this cannot be. The but it is. The sooner you accept that someone, somehow, screwed up your magic books, the sooner we can get on to figuring out what happened. Uh-oh. Why am I, I still explain. suspicious of Freddy? We will both sit, and you will explain. There will be tea. Okay. All right. Tea! 
Curious. <laughs> it is clear something unanticipated has occurred. Something outside the realm of fate. How many uh, kinds of tea do you have? Possible? It is. But I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years. That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Can't you speak that up? Can I meet Asterion? I only came for your help. I mean, I feel like this is asking, um, we're gonna go back to she's a giant telling you not to mess with her work, but that's just me. Um. Yeah, let, let's, you know, we came here for Asterion, let's... Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. Sad gay vampire whore. Ring a bell. Oh, uh, are we doing this? He's so cute. Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, okay. Freddy was right. He's As giving if there was for any the doubt. That's My what I was thinking. <laughs> but with she horns. Is our muse from or wait, he had horns, yeah. Is she who I can't remember. Me? Pan sent me. Can we talk? I'm here for your love life. I feel like that's, that's wow. not the way to that's go. That's very forward. I'm thinking Pan sent me. But... I don't know if we yeah. should say that, though. Mm. What if he's can we talk? Pan? Mm. Yeah, can we talk? Hi there. Can we talk? Somewhere in private? Talk? What, you and me? Uh, why? What about? You know, about a delicate matter that maybe you needed help with. Oh, nope. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. No delegates here. Oh, maybe not. There you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But oh. <laughs> there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Not this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. Oh. It is written. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? Break in, break in, break in. I was gonna say time to use my powers. Should we sneak in? Should we go back to Pan? I mean, we need a musical number at some point, right? True. Gotta. We I gotta have I don't know if my powers will even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you still here? I had to run the entire... Uh, oh, that's a long way, in it? <sighs> All right, Gov, how you doing? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I, I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. <clears throat> Kate, then tell me now. I mean, I feel like the Kate is obvious, but yeah, I'm interested Why in this. Why you wait? Ow. Are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> oh, this is so great. I love this. I heard what you said about <gasps> VIP. I can Ready? help you. I really, yeah. really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I just don't know how to tell her. Please. This is help literally me Beauty and the Beast. They even have a library. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Let me get this. We gotta straight. ask all the questions. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Oh, mate. Kate is. She's just the best. Like she That's knows everything and she always Kate. smells so That's good. Where's getting Kate from? Like she's so nice oh. to me and she doesn't even have to be. And we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. I know I could make her happy. Well, I, I want to try. Oh, won't you oh. help me? Why aren't you talking to have her? Have you tried, oh, I don't know, talking to her about how you feel? I don't know if you tried talking I to Freddy. I take that as a no. <laughs> I don't have the we words. We don't know where we're going to go yet. 
every time I end up knocking over a table or killing a cat or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed her cat? Oh, no. Ah. It was a small <laughs> cat. I panicked. I'm just not good at words. Right? Really not good. Same, dude. Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh... I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. That makes it. sense. She said, Thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> Are you really the Minotaur? Like, the monster who roamed a maze and ate people? And is supposed he to be dead. He was locked down there. Uh, How well, dare you? My father you? locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never ate anyone. Oh. Well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bellend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need... Good words. You know, please, please say you'll good help me. Words. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Have you tried? You fight good. <laughs> you, oh. Your face is good. Good. <laughs> Doesn't this seem weird? What will you do in return? What if she turns you down? I mean, all good I questions. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. <laughs> You heard what Pan said. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. You can only make them say what's in their heart. Yeah, that's the part I can't do. Hmm. Hecate might say no. You know that, right? <sighs> well, she probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. Don't tell yourself, Jory. You seem cool. I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, to, to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you, no matter what she says. I promise. Right, I do this, do? and you'll help me in return, right? <sighs> Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Ooh. Maybe she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you, even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. Hmm. I got this. I guess we should do this. I think we should, but we're going to find out what happens next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and feel free to check out some of our other gaming videos, our weekly podcast, Anime Yay or Nay, or our parody series, Madoka Magically Abridged. See you next time!